As the Gambia celebrates its 58th independence on Saturday, the Gambia Golf Association hosted a day-long golf tournament for golfers around the country to commemorate the day. 38 golfers, pros and amateurs, converge on the Sa Daura Jawara Fajara Golf Club course to play an entertaining golf, but equally challenging nine holes round. GGA President Ibrahim Jawara highlighted the significance of the tournament. Well, today we had the Independence Day uh, golf tournament um, to celebrate Gambia's independence. We, we've, uh, in the past, we used to have uh, the Gambia Pro-Am coinciding just around the independence. Yeah, so it, it's a tradition that um, we try to recreate every year. So this year, we actually had it on the day itself, which is 18th of February. And the turnout has been impressive. Um, we had uh, 32 players, uh, amateurs and pros. Yeah, it's been a very good turnout. He further explained the association's plans, which he said includes effort to promote golf in the Gambia. Well, um, we're just trying to promote golf, um, get more players, and uh, particularly the youth. Um, we, as we all know, we have to catch them as they're young. So we are looking to reintroduce the golf academy, which was uh, at Fajara Club. Um, so ho hopefully over the next few months, we should have a program in place to have the, the youth again, young youngsters from the um, primary schools to take up the game. Yeah. I mean, uh, that's how we had the, one of our current pros, uh, Tony Jata, came through that program. He was in the Golf Academy, I think when he was 14 years old, and today he's a pro. Um, also we have a lady called Mariaba who also was, uh, I think, grade four, grade five. You know, we, she was uh, giving clubs membership, and today she's a, a regular golfer. So, of course, um, it's not cheap, but we would look for partners to come in and uh, help us to reintroduce the golf academy. Parfama Rajata, who is a professional golfer and a trainer, urged young Gambians to venture into golf as a career. Golf, he went on, is important for the promotion of healthy living. People are saying um, golf is an expensive game. Well, though even though it's an expensive game, but it's a game that you can play up to 100 years. Uh, it's also good for health. It keeps you fit. It keeps you alive. And also it um, helps you to have a long life because those people who find golf, Jack Nicolot is still playing golf. He's about 82 now. So you can see that golf is, is the only sport that uh, you can play up to 110 years. So uh, I am advising all Gambians, especially the youths, to venture into golf. Come to the Fajara Golf Course and ask for JJ. I, I don't mind to give a free, um, um, free, um, free lesson. I have been giving free lesson to many people. Um, I, and I'm sti still doing that. And I will make so before next year, 2024, I will get over one, two or three or four Gambian Tiger Woods. Prizes were later presented to winners in the 2023 Independence Golf Tournament, which will go down as a historic moment for golfers at the exciting Sadara Jawara Fajara Club Golf Course. Thanks for this sponsor. Huh? Happy Independence to everyone. Thanks to the GTA. Seth Juf, reporting for Jarre Sports.